A warm May morning in Logan, Utah. Birds are out. They fill the air with song. Having just seen her youngest of three children off to school, Rose Pettigrove begins preparing a fresh spice cake. She descends into the pantry to retrieve a can of molasses. As she returns to the kitchen, she senses a twinge. The sudden pain stops Rose cold. She clutches her chest where the Amalga 300 robotic heart was transplanted six years ago. 9.23 a.m., seconds after recognizing that something was wrong, Rose Pettigrove collapses. At 33, she is dead. Her robotic heart having chosen to cease normal function. Investigator Dominic Kane gives a detailed description of the scene. The Pettigrove story hardly makes the local evening news. Debate rages as the worldwide death toll spirals out of control. Why are only amalgam models of robotic life support failing? A London Times editorial refers to this as a new herald in artificial intelligence. Some question whether or not this time is one of peace, or if instead, this is war.